this guy mastered the cross pen for sure and uh, we will see another one yeah cross incoming maldini jump please no 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 maldini brand new 97 overall paolo maldini card uh, is here we will test him out and first of all thank you for the great support on the previous videos i see that you really enjoy my player review videos so we will continue with this maldini card and uh, you already know fam that i'm honest with you with this player analysis you might think i'm totally crazy now but uh, not i'm not that satisfied with this card and i think it's a bit overrated first of all i will mention some advantages of this card which are definitely a very low price on the market 97 overall card and he's around 120 million you can easily boost him to 100 overall with just three mascherano cards also he's currently the fastest center back in the game and i really really like his standing tackle and aggressiveness to when he's winning the ball but now we come to big but I don't know if it's due to scripting or something else, but I've played several matches and conceded too many crosses. Maldini couldn't stop any cross pump mainly because of his poor positioning. It's uh, maybe it's just the scripting or not, I do not know, but I sold him and I will definitely bring back Virgil van Dijk. Also write me your opinions about this card if you use this card so far and yeah, let's move to his uh, gameplay and we will test him out. You will got the full analysis before this game and also you have to understand that testing defenders is very tricky especially in this game where the script is too strong in some matches so maybe maybe maldini was bad for me in a few games but that doesn't mean uh, he won't fit you in uh, your play style so okay this is the first attack we scored with R9, very very great skill moves from R9, I didn't expect I will uh, so easy pass these defenders and okay very nice goal for opening one, this is a Maldini review but also R9 is uh, I think for uh, now the best striker in game definitely now let me see my opponent skills uh, yeah, I uh, mentioned that uh, testing center backs could be very tricky. That Virgil van Dijk card was so good for me in gameplay. His jumping, his uh, uh, good strong duels, power head rate, everything was so exceptional while testing him. And definitely I will consider to bring him back. Uh, not for now, because his price is dropping day by day. And we will got a lot of packs in the future. Uh, the next pack contains 96 to 97 overall cards so you need to stock some good uh, 93 or 94 overall players i invested uh, this is the leak already in my of my investments i invested in a dalglish card 94 the price was 11 million coins so i think he will okay this is an offside i think he will raise maybe to I think 15 or 16 million coins uh, this connection error let me see is he in game right now yes okay he is playing so yeah that's some future exchanges and uh, Virgil van Dijk will definitely drop a lot I will advise you to buy him at the red rank and uh, you're fine with that card till team of the season definitely okay good blocks here and this is uh, this is an offside i think our opponent managed to score but yeah big offside here maldini was there he blocked also his attack so for the first game uh in the first half we didn't see anything from our opponent to test maldini but okay let me see this shot i played a lot of matches in division rival and uh, from fc1 division fc2 also random games and maldini just do not feel that good i mean he is 97 overall card he is the best center back in the game stats are insane if you train him only at rank 5 his defending is already 110 and he has that dive into tackle special trait the most powerful special trait for defenders is too aggressive but i don't know maybe it's about the script 
I played, I think, like six or seven games last night. Script was very, very hard, and uh, maybe that's the main issue. And if you buy this card, if you, if the Maldini is in your team, also make sure to comment below your opinions, and we will see in global which comments are most common. I will read definitely all your comments and. Uh, maybe if you have some good feedbacks in overall i'll maybe bring him back but he, okay let me see jumping and he defend this cross this is the very rare situation no corner kick and he defend this cross this is the very nice 70 uh, minute of the game maldini with first good jumping here so yeah, in the previous games, positioning was very, very bad. But he is good at defending corners, that I notice, very good. Okay, let me see, this could be is this corner. Okay, we got the corner, I will definitely target Maldini here. Let me see, he is on the first spot of the first uh, post. Okay, Maldini, Maldini, what a header! What a header, I mean I played a lot of matches, Maldini even do not have a chance to score and he scored in this one, okay the very very nice jump here, let me see again, okay very nice goal, heading was very good and this is the very rare situation, Maldini defend one cross in this game and score goal but in overall really I can uh, give him a good stat of reviewing because this is my personally my review maybe your review was better but for now I think Virgil van Dijk is the better option okay the game is over and it's up to you you know uh, you can buy this card you can upgrade him very easily to 100 overall and it's a tricky one if you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button for support and uh, we'll see you in the next review video, so gameplay and uh, all best. See ya!